This is Jermaine reporting for the Pound for Pound Boxing Show. I'm joined alongside me, Jason Cullen. How are you doing, mate? I'm good, thank you, mate. Yourself? Very well. Thanks for taking some time to join me today. No Jason, problem. obviously, I know you've got a massive fight. It's fight week now. You've got a massive fight coming up on Saturday night. I want to ask you, how are you feeling and how's training been? Be very, very good. Obviously, it's only been a short training camp, if you like. I'm, I'm always in gym active, so it's a good job I am. Uh, three weeks' notice, so we've hit it hard. Uh, hit it hard sorry. Put the uh, the pedal to the floor, if you like, and really step things up. But yeah, I'm good. I'm very, very good, and I'm very, very confident. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Well, so you're fighting uh, Gamal, you fire. Uh, yeah. Obviously, you know you know not about him. Yeah. I'll ask you, how confident are you that you can, obviously, he's only lost uh, the once. How confident are you that you can go in there and, and cause another upset and get a, get a win? I'm very confident. I think I'm all wrong for him. Uh, I'm very, very tall. Obviously, he's only defeat. What's a Gavin McDonald's in my gym? A uh, good pal of mine, Gav. Uh, I'm similar, really. I'm, I'm a lot. I'm big, uh, big for the weight, very tall. And I'm obviously with myself, Paul, to add to that. So uh, I'm very, very confident. We've got a game plan, and it's down to me to execute it. Brilliant, brilliant. Obviously, you fought for a British, and you've uh, obviously you fought and you won a Commonwealth. Yeah. This, you're, this is obviously you're fighting for the EBU bant and weight, uh, super bant and weight title this yeah. weekend. How big, a, how big of this will be for your career? Obviously, out, out, if you won other honours, how big for this will be if you, if you win this on Saturday night? Massive, because obviously the only thing above this is a world title, and it's like every title I've won, I've, I've kind of started from the bottom and I've done it the old school way, the old fashioned way. No way, no like Mickey Mouse titles. I've won. Uh, even won a Masters title. Won a Masters title, that's starting from bottom. I've won an area title, two English titles, two Commonwealth titles at different weights. Fought for the British title against Carl Yafai's brother. So there's history there between myself and the Yafai's. Uh, so EBU was the next one up. And it's like, if I do all that at a third weight, and another major title at a third weight, which I'm very, very confident in doing so. Um, yeah, it, it's good. There's not many that do that either, or, you know, especially all them weights and stuff as well. So this is the one for me. I'm leaving absolutely everything in that ring Saturday night. Brilliant, brilliant. Obviously, you mentioned that you've been in there with your brother. You've also been in there with the lads of Reese Bellotti. Uh, you've yeah. also been with Jordan Gill. Yeah. How big is that experience going into that fight? How big is that going to be an advantage for you going into this fight? Yeah, now? even like I said, Michael Conlon as well. I've been in with some elite yeah. fighters. A lot of opportunities have come at featherweight as well, which is my ideal way is super bantamweight. I've never been beat at super bantamweight. I've just never been afraid to take a risk. Um, and I'm just kind of, yeah, just, just obviously opportunities you've got to take when you can. So I have never had a big promoter behind me. So if these opportunities have come at featherweight, I'm always ready. I'm, I'm, I'm willing to step in there. But ideally, super bantamweight has always been my weight division. So this is the opportunity. I've I've been patient during this lockdown because uh, I've had a few opportunities, even on AJ Bill. And it's like, it didn't make sense to, to take. And I'm, I'm glad I've been patient because this is the one. And this is the one I believe that happens for a reason. And I believe Saturday night is my time. Brilliant, brilliant. Obviously, your stable mates, you'd have had two stable mates fighting this weekend. Obviously, you only have one stable mate this weekend. Obviously, Terry Harper had, yeah. had a hand injury and she's had to pull out. And you're, you're in there with, uh, obviously, uh, Lee Appleyard as well to fight this weekend. How good is he looking going into this fight on the weekend? Yeah, good. Good. Obviously, he's, uh, he's had plenty of time to prepare. Uh, he's going in there. Underdog tag, like myself, has ripped me as the underdog, which is uh, nothing. No one ever is bothered, and we're going in there to uh, upset the apple cart. So, yeah, he's, he's good. He's feeling very strong, very confident, and uh, obviously we're going to enjoy the experience as well. I think it's going to be a good laugh in there as well together. There's two of us in. would have been nice to have Terry there, obviously, but we've got all his team behind us as well. So uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to experiencing the bubble. Yeah, brilliant, brilliant. Obviously, you've got a well-respected uh, trainer who's trained you, uh, Steffi Ball. I yeah. want to ask, what's it like being trained by Steffi? Because he's such a well respected trainer in, in, in British boxing. Yeah, well, obviously, there's Ray Doyle as well. Ray Doyle will be my corner side now. There's Steffi and Ray. Uh, obviously, they've been there, they've done it, haven't they? And they've, they've got the rewards. Obviously, world champions as, as males, world champions as females. Uh, and obviously, like I said, Ray's got loads of experience as well. So it, it's good because like, we're all very, very close friends. Um, yeah, just the just good like, experience. It's obviously they can see which success in gym we've had that many belts and that many titles coming back. There's uh, there's a reason in there, and obviously the proofs in the pudding. So yeah, yeah, it's good. Is it, how I want to ask you how disappointed are you that obviously Terry can't uh, be on the main main event to, to this, this Yeah, week? very very disappointed. I mean, I was there on the last part when it happened, and obviously it's it's, it's weren't nice, but uh, obviously at the same time I'll go to the floor, but everything happens for a reason and we did say this to her after now if that had happened and gone in the fight say mm -hmm. she's schooling the uh, choy or whatever and then it goes in fifth round she has to pull out she loses the world titles everything else that comes with it she's starting again so maybe it's not a blessing in disguise i suppose that's not right the right words but 
uh, it better happens now than Saturday night or anywhere down the line. So it's just one of them things. Everything happens for a reason, but I'm sure she'll be bouncing back stronger when uh, when she's fully recovered. Really, 100%. I agree. I, I agree. I'm looking forward to seeing her back in the ring and I hope that how she makes a speedy recovery. Uh, I want, obviously, I'll ask you, it's a, it's a, obviously, it's a, it's a big card. We're actually making his return. Yeah. You've got, obviously, Apple Yard fighting on the, on, the, on the card against Dalton, Dalton Smith. Uh, how big how big opportunity is it for you, obviously, fighting on this show, on live on Sky Sports, to put in a good performance? Yeah, massive. It's obviously the three European title fights on as well, isn't it? So yeah. it's some bell. If Terry had been on as well, it was some card to be part of. I was buzzing when it first announced as well. And I thought, you know, it's some bill to be on that. It's a shame there's no crowds there, but yeah. obviously everyone will be tuning in at home and especially in Doncaster as well. So, yeah, it's massive. It's massive bill to be part of. But as well as that, it's another thing I can tick off personally as a goal. I've been on these big shows before, but I've never done it in the bubble behind closed doors. So this is a new experience. It's something I can say in outline that I've ticked off. I've, I've done that as well. And obviously, it's biggest fight in my career. So, yeah, looking forward to it. Brilliant, brilliant. Obviously, you mentioned uh, Gavin earlier in, in, in the interviews. Uh, obviously, he just come out short in his last last fight. Yeah. Uh, how disappointing was you that he obviously didn't go his way on the on night? Yeah, disappointing. More, more to... That it didn't go the distance, it didn't go to judge a stroke cards how it ended. It's obviously gutting, and it's like it's, it's not what you want, but it happens, it's boxing, isn't it? So, um, there's not really a lot you can say on it apart from it gutting. Obviously, it's not going to score cards and just to see how the fight would develop because I think the Gavin had to come on strong, and uh, obviously, the pop would have slowed down later on. But it's boxing, it's just one of them things, and sometimes that happens, yeah. Obviously, he picked up an injury in, in that fight. Uh, obviously, a fight on the weekend that took place on the weekend. Obviously, Billy Joe Saunders suffered a, a bad injury yeah. in Canelo. Yeah, exactly. I, I want to ask you, how important is it that we take these injuries seriously in, in sport? Obviously, a bad eye injury, some people saying coming out and saying, obviously, Billy quit. Some people saying that uh, he should have gone on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. well, you, you can't really say that, can you? Anyway, your health is your wealth. Yeah, mm -hmm. boxing, yeah, it's all, it's all good, but boxing is a short, like, period of your life yeah, it's a short career after boxing you've got the rest of your life you're right if you have something that's gonna you know where uh, it's gonna be with you for life if it's something you know let's say for instance for terry like i've said there she does that she knackers her on up at weekend that could that like, disable her for life you never know do you so you've got to look yeah. at the bigger picture it's all right people saying that or people have been sat on the back and they've never been in ring before uh your health is your wealth and obviously if you can't see if you're in, obviously in billy joe's um, in show Saturday night, and you're out there. You've got Canelo coming at you. It was pound, pound, best fire it will. He's lethal. You've got one eye, and you can't see one. You're going to be worried anyway, thinking, Well, I can't see it in the freaking eye. That, that's not good for a start, is it? But if you've got that man swinging at you as well, then it is what it is. But your uh, your health is definitely the wealth, so that's more important. Yeah, I echo that. I could have obviously, we've seen a few bad injuries in the past, yeah. and um, he lived to fight another day and a day because that's the most important thing that you yeah, exactly. and your long term health in terms of maybe going forward after boxing as well. So, yeah, I, I don't agree with the comments recently towards uh, Billy Joe. I think they're a bit harsh. Um, yeah. But makes a speedy recovery. yeah, you're going to get that. You're always going to get that, though, aren't you? Especially there's going to be people that hate on him and stuff as well. So, you're always going to get that. I suppose you're just going to turn a blind eye to it and crack on. And like you say, you've got to look after number one. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. There's, there's news that a big fight might be getting announced on the on the show on the Saturday night. Uh, Anthony Joshua, Tyson Fury. Right. Uh, right. We, do, we ask a question to all these fighters, all fighters we interview. Uh, we could do a long show on the end. Yeah. We ask uh, you, who wins and why? Tyson Fury. Um, reason being, I just think he's best at weight in the world. There's nobody who moves like him for a man his size. Uh, obviously, he's got all that confidence, everything to go with it. Uh, just me personally, I just fancy Tyson Fury. Okay. Um, obviously, would you hope to maybe be on the card and if you if you come through on the weekend? I uh, listen. I always feel like I say uh, the weekend. I go no further than the weekend because obviously I've got the job to do and I'm going to beat Gamal Uh Obviously, get the job done. Then it's something. Yeah, you'd love to be on. Yeah, every fight would be, but I don't want past Saturday. Let's just get uh, Gamal out of the way first. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Obviously, like you mentioned, uh, there's not going to be enough fans there on in the on Saturday night. But have you got a message for your fans uh, going into this fight on Saturday night? Uh, everyone tune in. <laughs> everyone tune in and put a bet on because they're, uh, they're writing me off. So, yeah, I looked some money on. But other than that, uh, that's why. I know everyone will tune in anyway. I've got, I always have big support in Doncaster. Uh, I've got a lot, a lot of sponsors behind me for this fight as well. They've all jumped on board last minute. So, thank you to every sponsor who's supporting me. 
and uh, putting their hard earned money into me. So, yeah, I'm buzzing. And uh, I like to say, I'm just looking, for to, like, looking forward to that experience. The thing as well, I think that's going to suit me better now, crowds and like hearing every instruction from the corner and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, it's going to be very interesting. So you mentioned your sponsors. You want to make a quick shout for some of your sponsors? I can't. To be honest, I've got <laughs> uh, space in two weeks. I've, had, uh, I've got an MGMT uh, marketing team helping me out, and they've took a lot of pressure off me because I haven't dealt with this personally. They've kind of sort of all all logos, everything sorted all out for me. But I ended up getting twenty one sponsors on board. So as you can imagine, I can't read all of them off in one go. So I'd have to, I'd have to get kicked out now. We're going down. I'll be here for the next ten minutes. So. Literally, they all know they are, uh, and I've sent a personal message out to them all before and anyway, so uh, just thank you very much. I appreciate it. Brilliant, brilliant. Jason, before I let you go, a uh, quick message for Gamal Fair going into the weekend, Saturday night. Just, what is it to say? There's no, it's on, it's going down Saturday night, and uh, I hope you're going to be at your best because I'm more than ready for you. Other than that, let's do it. Brilliant. Jason, absolute pleasure. I have taken the time to join me today, and I wish you nothing but the best going yeah. into Saturday night. Yeah, I appreciate it, mate. Thank you. You've taken up. Bye -bye. Yeah, see you in a bit. Bye. Yeah.